Watch what happens before your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Now what you're seeing come up is the Parliament of the European Union, superimposed over the Tower of Babel. This now was built to resemble the unfinished Tower of Babel. There is a conspiracy on many levels to bring us all under a new world order. That one of the sons of Ham was Canaan. He was his youngest son. And they were the ones that came in and squatted in the parcel of land through which all the trade routes of the world went. This was not designated for them. This was designated for a different people. And we're going to talk about them in just a minute here. And Cush begat Nimrod, who began to be a mighty one in the earth. Now we start Nimrod. Who is he? Nimrod was a mighty hunter before El Panai in the face of the Lord or Yahweh. Therefore it is said of his infamy, Nimrod the mighty hunter before yod heh vav -Hey. He developed a one world system. He was worshiped as a god. He enslaved people and it says the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, Akkad, and Kalna in the land of Shinar. And this ramps it up to where we find out that out of the land of Shinar, Asher went forth and built Nineveh. Asher is one of the sons of Shem, who after the confusion of the languages, took the pagan sun god worship of Babylon, and then went into and built Nineveh, the Assyrian, Asherian Empire. And who was sent to Nineveh to tell these descendants of Shem, not sons of Abraham, but descendants of Shem, to repent and come out of their paganism? Jonah, absolutely. See, Israel is going to be given a job here. In just a minute, we're going to see this. But before Asher left the land of Shinar, we read now, Genesis 11, 1 through 4, the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, which means every word meant the same thing to everyone. There was no confusion. One word meant the same thing to everyone. Not so after the confusion of languages, not so in English today. We speak one word in Albuquerque. In Massachusetts, that word means something different. You speak the same language in South Africa and and also in England, we all speak English, but the words mean different things and can cause quite some embarrassment at times because we commonly use words that to, in other cultures are absolutely, you don't say those things, that just because of cultural differences. The whole earth was of one language and of one speech, and as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and dwelt there, and they said one to another, go to. This is King James English, and I'll give you a clue here that when they said go to, it doesn't mean the same thing when you tell someone now to go to. In 1611, in England, go to meant come now. Come now. Let us make brick. Burn them throughly. They're not going to wait around to carve out stone. They are going to build this thing, this empire, and they're going to build it with brick. They're going to burn them throughly, and they had brick for stone and slime their head for mortar. The same thing that the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were put together with. So when the Almighty sent fire and brimstone down, it ignited the mortar and turned the cities into a raging inferno. It looked like those, uh, those cities were absolutely, you, you couldn't do anything to them. But they were incinerated because the Almighty knows chemistry. <laughs> and now we're smelling it. Ah, smell your fingers. It'll stay with you for weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I didn't warn you. Ah, that's beautiful. And they said, go to, come now, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered upon the face of the earth. And so a city, a tower, a name, they had full economic control, religious control, and political control. In their day, that was the Novus Ordo Seclorum, the New World Order, a one-world government, and as it says, that they, nothing could be held back from them. They were all of one speech. And so, Yahweh said, go to, or come now, let us go down and confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So, 
Yahweh scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city. They didn't quit. They left off. The languagers were confused and they were scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. Now watch this. Here is an old, old painting of the Tower of Babel. Look at it carefully. They left off building the city. Now I'm going to show you a poster from the European Union. Look what we have. Is it not almost identical? And yet now we have a modern crane. Europe, many tongues, one voice. Watch what happens before your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Now what you're seeing come up is the parliament of the European Union superimposed over the Tower of Babel. This now was built to resemble the unfinished Tower of Babel. There is a conspiracy on many levels to bring us all under a new world order, a one world government. I heard, first heard of it ten, when I was 10 years old, sitting in Green Corners Baptist Church with an evangelist coming through talking about the new world order. And all my life, it was all being denied. Oh, no, that's just conspiracy stuff. Yes, it is conspiracy stuff, you idiot. The Almighty told us that they were doing this. To enslave us, to bring us back under Nimrod's kingdom. Therefore, that is the name of this place called Babel, because Yahweh did confound the languages of the earth, and from thence he did scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. Watch this. This is going to be one of the changing points of your life. Because in Deuteronomy 32, it tells us why he divided the nations. When the Most High divided the nations for their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Israel was not going to be born for hundreds of years, but yet he was dividing up the nations, destroying Nimrod's one world government so that they could not bring the ultimate evil and complete slavery upon the earth because he had a plan that he would choose a people to be his priest, a kingdom, a nation of priests, his prophets to the whole world to reconcile the world back to him. Shalom, Torah fans. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Tap the subscription button and the bell icon, and I promise to update weekly with in-depth biblical research. Be sure to download the new MichaelRood.tv app for both mobile and home devices for even more commercial-free content.